<laughs> well, it's our first snowfall here on the mountain with our new life. We're gonna take the Polaris out and go do a little trail riding. Yeah, it's coming down. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Let's go, Frankie. There's four different sets of coyote tracks in the road here. They are out carousing tonight. So are we. <laughs> Wait a second here. I'm not supposed to put the music in. Everybody said, just take the music out, problem solved. I'm not here to watch music, just take the music out. Okay, let's see that intro without the sound effect. Kind of dry, I thought. How about the vlog with the dog without the jingle? It's not quite the same. What do you think, Frankie? I don't think he cares for it. Diddy dee 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 doo 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 doo. I wonder if we'll get a copyright claim on that one, Frankie. Ah. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the snowy New Hampshire woods. Another storm is setting in. It's supposed to snow through the night. <laughs> that means it's going to be absolutely drop-dead gorgeous out here tomorrow morning. Yeah, well, so we'll probably go off on another snowshoe trek. Just love it. Yesterday, we spent the whole day snowshoeing. Got up in the high country. Had a little picnic. It was just, just great. We had a great time. But I got to get back to my project here. I still haven't made it through that last knee wall and finished up that section of roof, but I'll get there. It's just really nice to finally have most of the pressure off and enjoy the woods and do the things that brought us up here in the first place. My last, second to the last video, my flash update, I posted that. And from all the responses that I'm getting, it's evident that there's a lot of misunderstanding with what I was saying. The thumbnail said, fed up with YouTube, that I am, but so is just about every other creator on YouTube. People have been writing and saying, we're gonna miss you, sorry to hear you're leaving YouTube. Well, I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm always saying I, want, I don't want to have all my eggs in one basket, and unfortunately, that's what I have been doing with my videos. <sighs> Just posting on YouTube, putting everything there, having issues with the copyright claims and demonetization. It's not working for me, so i got to make some changes. So all I'm doing is setting up another basket, okay? I'm still going to be posting my free content on YouTube as often as I can, probably even more often than I was because our life is slowing back down and we will have the time to film. So we're getting back to normal with that and we have more interesting stuff to start posting about. Life has been pretty cool up here. We've been filming a lot. We got a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, because of all the issues with the copyright claims and the soundtracks by using my creativity I end up with those copyright claims I gotta stay true to myself and making the videos just cut and dry it's it's not very fulfilling for me it's much like taking if you were a chef you made wonderful creations and now someone's telling you, I don't want you to put the spices in, just make very bland meals. Or if you were a woodworker, you made beautiful furniture and someone says, I don't want you to use your routers and shapers and sanders, just here's a skill saw and a hammer, have at it. Or if you were a painter and you made beautiful landscapes, 
and they're telling you to just to paint with black and white and only one brush, okay? You, your heart and soul is going to be taken right out of your creations. If you're a creative person, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're not, you just won't get it. it is what it is. So when I try and make my videos just cut and dry, my heart's not in it. But, so, I have found a way around it. Adapt and overcome. That's what I'm always talking about. I'm not going to quit being true to myself. I'm just going to adapt and overcome. So I found a solution. I'm going to continue to post on YouTube. I'm going to cut way back on the sound effects and things like that. But I'm going to post my full length theatrical versions on another platform. When people follow me to Patreon, not only will they get the full length versions with my heart and soul put right into them, I'm going to be sharing my journals, my intimate writings with my subscribers over there. Share my life experiences along the way and it's been a pretty interesting life. I'm going to talk about all the mistakes that I've made throughout my life, or maybe not all of them, but a lot of them and do a commentary on those life experiences and how I learned and what I learned from them and how it has helped me steer my life in different directions. Some pretty good stuff. I'm also going to be doing somewhat daily blogging. We've been talking about setting up a blog for a long time now we just haven't gotten there, but we're going to do it right on our Patreon page. And Lori's going to get involved with that and do a lot of postings or sharing photos and getting her, her um, perspective on this whole new life of ours. So that's going to be pretty cool. And from time to time, you'll see me make something, whether I'm carving a spoon or I make something out of wood or maybe I restore some cast iron. Who knows? It could be anything. And I'm just going to pick one one of my subscribers randomly and I'm just gonna give it away pay the shipping and everything I'll make something do a video on how I make it or however and then just give it away so there'll be a lot of perks for the folks to follow me to patreon I'm certainly not taking anything away from my YouTube subscribers what I'm doing is just giving more to those who follow me on Patreon. Lots of folks have already been asking about the Patreon page because they've gone looking for me over there. We're building it. It's going to take some time to get that just the way we want it because we don't just sit in, inside the cabin all day in front of the computer. We're out here living a life. We're putting that together. And as soon as we have it ready to launch, I will make an announcement. We'll get the ball rolling with that. So that's it for now, folks. I'm going to continue to get the wood box filled up. Lori's baking bread today. It's going to be smelling mighty fine in the cabin in a little while. And I'm just going to ride the storm out. I'm going to do some video editing today and read through some of my old journals and find some cool stuff to share with you all. So until next time, all the best to you. And God bless. To get some snow tires for this thing. Ah, it's not quite the same without the music, is it? <laughs>